What's up, everyone? Today we're back with another uh, video, but this time we are playing Five Nights at Candy's Remastered. So as you guys can see of the title, we are going. I'm going to show you how to beat Shadow Candy Night. Okay, so you guys probably you're like if you're here on the video, you might have beaten. You know, you 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 probably beaten Night Five, then got to Night Six. Maybe you beat 720 mode, who knows. But the one thing you're stuck on is Shadow Candy. See, the night is very difficult. I see that there, is, like, there isn't many, what's it called, uh, uh, tips and tricks or guides for the night. So, today I will be showing you guys how to beat it. See, I'm actually like at first and when I first played the, 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 the shadow candy stuff and the night, right? It like it was really difficult for me for one reason. And that reason is because obviously there was no tips and tricks. I couldn't find one. So I don't want you guys going through the same struggle that I went through. So I'll show you guys how how it works, okay? So um Actually, before I don't want to do this now. I don't want to do this now. But, oh, uh, but yeah. Um, we're, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna do a quick explanation of all the characters that work in the game because not everyone is at the Shadow Candy point yet. So, um, I'll just do a quick rundown and tips and tricks for every single character and what to do for them. Um. So just in case you're stuck on the other nights, like I want you to get to, you know, Shadow Candy at the same time too, right? So, um, okay, let's let's go through uh, all the characters. So Candy, he comes from the right or left. Um, you just have to close the door on him, and uh, to know when he's there, you can either look at the cameras or his eyes are flashing like, through the door. Cindy, same thing, but she goes on the right. Chester, same thing, but she goes on the left. He's the same thing as Candy, but he goes to the left, or not the right or anything. Uh, wait, no, 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 I should have mentioned it. Candy does not go through the middle door. None of these characters here go through the middle door except for Blank. Blank is the only one. He can only go through the middle door. So, Candy, you know, he goes through the middle yeah, yeah, okay. So, Chester goes to the left. Um, his eyes will flash just like Candy. Uh, Penguin, he will go into your office, but will shut down, like, oh, uh, well, he will, like, randomly close doors, so, it, uh, he's gonna waste your power, and it's also gonna be, like, he can open the door for one of the animatronics when they're there, and then you could be like, oh, yeah, I'm done for, because, it's, yeah, no, so he, he can be annoying, don't let him into your office, he comes from the right door, um, He's very small, so you, like, you might not uh, realize that he's there, but he, uh, his eyes will flash at the door just like everyone else. Um, but you can check if he's there by the cameras, but it's very hard to like spot him on the camera. But yeah, um, so he goes to the right door, his eyes flash, but he's small, so you can't spot him. Uh, old Candy, he is someone that doesn't, like his eyes don't flash, because he doesn't have like any, I think. Th I think that's the reason, right? I don't, I don't know. Oh, uh, but yeah, he can, you can, you can, uh, the only way you can, like, really know when he's there is by the cameras. Always look at the camera, the, the camera that, uh, is on the left. He's never, he never appears on the right, or, uh, the right. So, go to the left, look at the camera on the left door, and, yeah, if you see him there, close the door, and that's it. That's all, that's how you get rid of him. Uh, blank, he comes from the middle, so I'm pretty sure it's camera 11. It's I think it's camera 11, right? It, I don't remember, but yeah, um, you go to camera 11, just check on him a lot to see, you know, if he is there, like, well, no, if he's gonna come towards you. So when he's standing up, uh, that means he's about like one more move and he's about to go to camera 5. So, what you want to do for blank is what I do a lot, um, especially for 720 mode, it's a really helpful tip. So, when you see Blank out of uh, camera 11 or whatever camera he's assigned to, right, where he stays there, right, 
he goes to camera 5 he teleports to camera 5 okay so um whenever you see him gone from that camera camera 11 or wherever the camera is for him you go to uh first you close the middle door and then go to camera 5 so it's easier so like when you go to camera 5 the animation uh triggers like it triggers quicker so that's a good thing and for uh that's how i stop him quicker so it wastes less power you know because like it takes like a bit of seconds like it takes a little for him to attack you without going to camera 5 so that's what i do rats uh basically same thing as old candy but he could come from either doors i think if not the check right he can't come from middle obviously but yeah um so 720 mode uh, uh you close both doors for 720 mode you close both doors like a lot a lot like keep on doing it repeatedly 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 check on blank and that's pretty much it bro it's like sometimes you can run out of power but that's okay you know keep on going with your run uh you'll see you'll see um but yeah as i was saying uh okay so let's get into the shadow can see i want to show you guys a couple things about game so while we're in the game you know so i'm gonna just put in my code right here this okay this code doesn't work for everyone obviously this only works for me um but yeah uh, i remember my code like i literally because i played it a lot i played this night a lot i might not beat it first try because once again it is kind of difficult but when you know what to do it's really easy it's not that hard when you know what to do so i'll be teaching so you go to camera one then comes out and then you'll be there so this is how you start off the night okay no, you know what to do then we go into the real night so <sighs> time to show you guys okay so where he spawns he spawns on camera 13 if i am correct yes so he spawns on camera 13 what i normally do is go on non night vision mode just go on the dark mode that you see right here displayed so double click on every camera sometimes you gotta double check right but yeah double check like repeatedly see i just found him there sometimes you have to check too like if you can't find him you gotta check so one tip that i've learned is that the more like you can hear the music get louder so when the music gets louder like a lot louder that means he is either close to you or he is in camera five four or six so what i would do say say he was like the music was really intense um he would go from camera five four six seven three or two that's what i normally do when i hear the music get really intense so he that that indicates that he's nearby obviously like the music can get intense like when you're in camera 13 but he doesn't like he, he obviously the camera 13 he's not gonna teleport over there but yeah try your best to just like check every camera but just double click everything so one thing i want to mention is say he pops up from the left middle or right um when he's at your door he will knock the more he knocks the more power he drains i'll show you because he'll probably knock on my door so the more power he drains right uh, like he drains a lot of your power uh but what i do is close the door as yeah look look at this Look at my power. Oh, he only knocked once. So he can knock uh, about three times, I, I feel like. Yeah, three times. I close, like, near the second uh, knock. But what you want to do is do not. Do not do not close it too early. Because if you close it too early, he will go through the door and then just kill you. Uh, well, just jump scare you. Then you have to lose an hour. So, uh, yeah. Say that I do lose an hour. I go on night vision, vision mode. Uh, so I'll show you where the spawns for the origami cats are. This is one. On the desk right here, this is one. On 12, this is one in the table. Uh, not on one, no one. On this one, this is origami cat right there. Let me, let me look for candy and then I'll, go, I'll show you guys where the spawns are. I'm pretty sure the spawns are like... But you could only... Okay, quick tip. You can only... Look, look, look. So, for the origami cat spawns, you can only find them in night vision mode. So, like, you have to go on this mode. 
So what I normally do to find the origami cats whenever I need to, I go to night vision mode, look, check all the spawns. One origami cat is right here too for the camera nine. Uh, right there too. Um, I think it's over here or over here. Um, right here and yeah, there shouldn't be any in here. Oh, maybe in here too, but I don't know. But yeah, I showed you some spawns, so that should help you out, because they're, like, they're mostly there. But yeah. Um, that's a quick demonstration of all the spawns. You guys, like, I recommend you checking them out. Go on night vision mode, okay, to find the origami cats. All you do, if you're confused, you just click on these cats right here. This cat right here. It looks like this. You click on it, and, uh, you should gain an hour. Uh, and yeah should gain an hour and uh, you you get everything you had back so oh one thing I forgot to mention is that candy can train your power when it jump scares you forgot about that it drains your power about like 10 to 5 10, 10 to 5 power so try your best not to get jump scared you know because then it will be a huge struggle you have to I hear the music getting intense God, <laughs> sometimes you can do those mistakes, guys. Don't worry if you can't find him one time. Like, say he's in a camera one, but you can't check him and he moves. Use logic. So what I normally do, or like say he's in camera eleven, he he will normally teleport from camera eleven to camera nine. So I check camera nine. Nice there. Oh oh shoot! He teleported to camera seven. See? Look, that sense of logic. Look, he would not go over here. Or here, like he, he could hop up in there. But you sometimes uh, use a lo uh, logic, you know, when you can't, when you find him, but like you uh, don't stare at him, you, you skip another camera. Um, that's what I do. I just use logic. Yeah, he's gonna go to camera nine. See, told you. Use logic. So think, like, try to predict wherever he teleports. Okay, you can't just like go searching out for him, like, uh, like normally, you know. But this is pretty much it. I've pretty much told you guys everything, really. Um, just like, you know, like on night vision. Oh, there you go. See? Uh, some people think that only this, like, version, like, non-night vision, only works for candy. No. It, like, you have to check with night vision and not night vision. And there is, uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering, there is no assigned role, like, uh, role for candy. So, like, say, you guys probably think that, like, uh, oh, wow, camera 7 is, uh, automatic candy's gonna pop. If, he, uh, candy pops up in camera 7, you have to turn on night vision. He's there, no. There is no assigned camera, so, like, like I can find shadow candy on camera 12, on dark mode, and night mode. I just call it night mode as night vision and dark mode as just like this vision right here. Uh, but what I normally do to save power also, because your power can like kind of be drained a little, you know, obviously, by checking the camera and double checking. Oh shoot, I didn't use logic. I'm pretty sure you should be here. Oh wow. See, that time, that was really surprising. Teleport, he's probably at camera 5. No? Yeah, most likely. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ah, there you go. Done it. Sometimes you can almost run out of power, but what I do is go to camera 13. Put it on dark mode, right? On the. I'll just call it dark mode, guys. <laughs> put it on dark mode. And um, just click off the camera. And then check back. If he's gone, then you obviously start to check the other cameras. But sometimes he won't. Like, on, when he's on camera 13, he won't disappear immediately. So that's what I do. I just click off the camera to not waste as much power. So that's what I do. Sometimes the little seconds can save you power. So, uh, yeah. I feel like this is all you guys needed to know. I pretty much covered everything. Everything, pretty much. 
Uh, well, know. this is just a cutscene. I'll let the cutscene go, and then, yeah, okay. I can let you guys free from this video. But yeah, it's maybe. Oh, this is a cutscene. As you guys can see, this is candy. I never understood this. I never un understood the lore. I haven't played FNAF 3, you know? Maybe I, I might, I might play FNAF 3. But I, like, I'm at night 4, but I don't play it at all. Like, I don't play it. What I'm working on is trying to beat FNAF, uh, Five Nights at Chucky's. Uh, Five Nights at Chucky's rebooted. Some of you guys might know that, uh, game. But, yeah, that game is hard. True Nightmare Mode. I can only make it past 1 a.m. That's it. So it's kind of crazy. It's gonna take me a while to beat, but once I beat it, I will do a guide on that too. I'll probably, if you guys want me to do another guide, like Fnac 2 or something, then uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see me do a part two uh, and cover up Fnac 2, then yeah, I can do that. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.